everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel So Little Time and my name is Karen. So I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you very much for joining me today. I have got uh, just a quick chatty update video for you today. I just wanted to update you with where I'm at with my sewing and I've got some fabrics that I've had delivered to share with you and just where I'm at with a couple of bits of my work in progress as well. So firstly, before I go any further, I do apologise about the squinting and the fact that it's so bright in here. The sun is going in and out. It's really windy today, so the clouds are just, you know, going across the sun quite a lot. So I do apologise about the noise above my head. It's the corrugated roof that just cracks when the sun goes in and out. It's just, yeah, really annoying. Sorry about that. Um, so firstly, I'll tell you what I am wearing before we go any further. I'm wearing the Sew Over It Marguerite dress and I made this as part of a blog post for Felicity Fabrics. So they gifted me this lovely cotton dobby fabric in return for a blog post. So I will link that down below if you wanted to have a read through of it. I also have got a couple of videos about this dress. So initially it was white um, when I first made it and I did a full review about the actual process of sewing this dress up and how I found the pattern and that kind of thing. And then I've got another video on the dyeing process because I use some Dylon dye to dye it this beautiful teal colorway. Um, so I'll link those in the description box below for you as well, just in case you wanted to check it out. But it's a really beautiful dress actually. I love the neckline on this and the grown on sleeves. It's got a lovely waistband and then sort of a gathered type skirt. Yeah, it's just really, really lovely. Um, so firstly then what I'll share with you is where I'm at with my sewing. So. You will recall from um, my May plans video that I had this strawberry fabric that I was making um, some bits and bobs for one of my son's friends as I've made pyjamas for her the year before and there was some fabric left over. So I've done two pairs of the Waves and Wild uh, pants pattern, which is a free pattern. And again, I will link that down below for you. It's a really lovely pattern to use up some scraps and Thomas has got a pair and he really enjoys wearing his actually because they're, they're quite a full type of brief. Um, yeah, so I've made two of those for her and then I made a little fabric headband, you know, stretchy headband and I tested that on the boy's head and that fits absolutely fine. So it's literally just a tube um, that she can wear. And then I just did one scrunchie and I was gonna do another, but in the end, I just did the one. Um, I don't think I had quite enough fabric left over. And then with the sort of meter that I had left, I have actually done her another t-shirt. And this is the Lee t-shirt by Bobbins and Buttons. And I've made it in the past for my boys. Um, and I really like this pattern. It's a really nice one. So it's just set in sleeves, which you obviously sew in on the flat. Um, and then it's got a nice neck band there. And it's, you know, just a sort of bog standard t-shirt really. But yeah, it's a really nice one to sew up. Um, so I just had enough fabric to do that. Thank you very much for the suggestions to make something else like skirts and things like that, but I didn't quite have enough fabric to do like a circle skirt or anything like that. And I did think if I did a gathered skirt, it might be a little bit bulky in Jersey. So I just went with a t-shirt and I thought, you know, she could either wear it out or to bed, whatever she wants really. And I did that in the age six, I think, because she's just turned six this week. It's her birthday party this weekend. So I thought I'd get them all done and dusted so I can give them to her along with her presents and things. Um, so that's all been done. Um, and then I have finished another work in progress. Well, I say finished, it's near enough finished and you can see it in the background here. So I'm just gonna grab it for you. So this is my new look 6446 jumpsuit. And this is the one that I've had in my work in progress pile for such a long time. Um, I think it was three years ago, I cut it out and it was sat under the bed for about a year. Uh, where I didn't actually do anything with it. I think I got very cross with it because I found it very difficult to cut out uh, being a very floaty viscose. And then last year I decided to pull it out and start sewing it and I got really cross with it again because of the fabric. I just have, I've, I'm not very good with viscose. Um, although my experience has got better with it over time as my sort of skills have enhanced over the years. But um, I think I didn't cut it on the grain so I was really worried that it wasn't gonna drape quite right. And it was just very difficult to work with, although I did end up spray starching it to make it a bit easier to sew with. So I remember putting it in the naughty corner sort of middle of last year and it never came back out again. So one of my um, sort of things that I wanted to do this year was to make sure that I finished my work in progresses to get that pile down. And I have nearly finished this to the point that all I have to do is literally hand sew the lining inside. Um, so I've pinned that ready and I can just hand sew that in place. But I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out actually. Um, so I've actually given it a really good press 
with the steam on my iron and it's got rid of all the creases that are in it because this fabric does crease quite easily. Um, it's a Lady McElroy fabric actually and it's a really lovely viscose but I will say it was very difficult to work with. It's very lightweight and shifty. Um, and I've just done the version, the jumpsuit version that is sort of three quarter length legs, trouser legs on it. Um, and it's a really lovely pattern. This is my fourth one. I've got three jumpsuits now and I've got the play suit version as well, which I made. So yeah, I've got four in total. It's a really lovely pattern. I absolutely love it. And so I've made the size 12 in this one with no adjustments other than to bring the back zip in a little bit. I always just need to bring it in a little bit because I'm smaller at the top than I am on my bottom half. Um, and it's inserted with an invisible zip, which has gone in fairly well. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with that, that I finally, you know, got it finished. Um, I have taken a sort of mirror selfie. It's a really rubbish mirror selfie, but I'll insert it here just so you can see the fit on me. And I'm just so pleased that it fits and that the drape looks like it's absolutely fine, considering I don't think I cut it on the grain line very well. Um, giving it a good press with the steam iron certainly has helped, but I just really wanted to get this done and salvage it from <laughs> underneath the bed um, or in my work in progress pile because the fabric is too beautiful really. And I think that's what spurred me on to actually get it finished because there was times when I was questioning whether I was actually gonna finish it at all, to be honest. But I'm so, so pleased with that. So in my next makes video, you will see that on me. So unfortunately I haven't started my raincoat yet. I know that was my main May plan, um, but then we had a week off in May for the boys at home. So I was really busy with them. So not a lot of sewing got done. And then I ordered the hardware and was waiting for that to arrive. And I also need to have either the blades sharpened on my overlocker or for them to be replaced because actually I've had a quite a nightmare with um, it not cutting fabric so I think I've gone over a pin and I've blunted the blades or done something so I need to get it checked so I need to get that done and I obviously want to use that when I make the raincoat unless I don't need it for making the raincoat I'm not really sure I need to have a look through the instructions because I may just be obviously be able to conceal all the raw edges inside the lining and the outer so I might not need to so anyway I haven't started that yet but that is um sort of my next one that's on my list to do so I've just been sort of dibbing into my work in progresses for the time being um and then this fabric that I had delivered from um Andrea at Beyond the Pink Door as part of the Think Pink Sew Scription box um I did have an idea to make the Tilly and the Buttons miette skirt with it um, as i absolutely love that pattern and to make like a cropped sort of scout tee top um with it or something similar like that but in actual fact i'm not going to be able to do that now because looking at the pattern pieces for the um miette skirt it's not going to keep the lines parallel it's going to make them it's got a center seam and then it's going to make them go up like this and i just think it's going to look really weird so i have to get my thinking cap on again as to what I'm actually going to make with that but that is definitely something that's on my radar to make something very soon with it um I think I have another skirt pattern in mind um because I would like to do kind of a skirt and top combo or something like that I'm not really sure um yeah I'm gonna have to have another little think I'm sure I had an idea in my head but it's gone off the top of my head now and uh, I had, I actually ordered a metre of fabric from Felicity Fabrics in case I didn't have enough to make a top to go with the skirt. So in actual fact, I think it was the grey skirt I'm thinking of making, uh, which is by Simple Sew. Um, and I've had that pattern for a while and it's got sort of a waistband and then it's pleated, a pleated skirt, or it's got some um, box pleats in it. And I think that would work really well because it's basically a rectangle of fabric. So it's not gonna go up at the sides and make the lines all distort. Um, yeah, or I did think of the Tilly and the Buttons Clement skirt, which is actually out of her first book, Love at First Stitch. Um, but I think that's a gathered skirt. So I think this, even though it's quite a lightweight chambray, I do think the gathering, it might be a little bit too much and I don't want to add too much bulk around my hips and things. So maybe that's not quite the right choice. So I think the grey skirt might work. And I think a little crop top with that would look really, really nice. So I bought this fabric from Felicity Fabrics. They may well still have this in stock. I will link it down below if they have got some. And it's actually another cotton dobby fabric in white. But I think this will be fine to pair with this if I don't have enough fabric to make a top with that. But it's not just a standard white cotton dobby because it's got this really lovely edging on it. So I'll bring this close up to the camera so you can see. And it's got like an embroidered sort of edge, if you can see that there. 
um, really, really pretty. So I was thinking of maybe either making a little shortened scout tee um, or maybe the willow tank top, which I've made before. And again, shorten that because I've made a version of that shortened to wear with the Miette skirt in the past. And I'll insert a picture of what that looks like as well. So you can see. Um, but yeah, I thought that might be an idea. Now this is quite sheer, so I will have to line it. So if I do the scout tee or the willow top, then I will definitely have to just add some lining into that. Or there is a possibility that I could make this into an Ogden cami and then just line it so by extending the um, the very short lining that's, that's in the Ogden cami that usually just comes down to under your bust. I could just lengthen that to full length. But yeah, I thought that was just really, really lovely fabric. Um, and I don't mind that it's obviously white because it would be paired with something else like this. Um, so it doesn't matter. It's not just going to be completely white all over me. And uh, that I got, yeah, from Felicity Fabrics. So I've also got another delivery from Felicity Fabrics, but this one has been gifted to me in return for a blog post. And I absolutely love this. Now I'm going to be making the new Friday Pattern Company uh, pattern the saguaro set i've seen so many beautiful versions and it just seems to suit every single shape of figure that you can think of um, and i really like the fact that the crop top sort of comes to a point where you don't flash too much midriff off now back in the day i used to have a washboard stomach um, and then i had my twins <laughs> and it's not washboard anymore that's for sure it doesn't matter how much exercise or you know sit-ups i do it will never go back to what it was so um i really think that this sort of style I, I can wear. I don't feel like I'm going to be showing off any of my sort of loose skin or stretch marks that I've got there. So this fabric, like I say, is from Felicity Fabrics and has been gifted to me in return for a blog post. So you'll see this very soon. But it's this absolutely gorgeous sage colourway and it's a polyester fabric. So it's really, really lightweight and drapey. I've got three metres of it because the um, the trousers do take quite a bit of fabric up, if I'm right. Um, but this, I just think this will be absolutely perfect for it. So I'm going to be making a twelve version of the top and the trousers because I just want to make sure I get the fit right before I cut into this. Um, and the um, the top, I want to check whether I need to lengthen it as well. So I've got some fabric, which I had from Rainbow Fabrics, um, a little while back when they did one of their fabric drops that they gifted to me and um, I think it will be perfect for a set so I also need to see if I need to lengthen the trousers as well so uh, this is I'm going to do a twirl of that uh, because I have got quite a long torso but I'm not quite sure if I would need to lengthen the top or not we'll see it depends how much midriff I want showing off I suppose I mean I don't really want too much showing off but yeah this fabric is absolutely gorgeous so you always get one of these in um your order from Felicity Fabrics and on the back it tells you the fabric type so it's the it's the fabric name is Sage and it's 95% polyester and 5% elastane so it does have a weeny bit of stretch in it which will be brilliant for you know sitting down and that kind of thing although I do think the trousers are fairly roomy so I'm in sort of at the minute debate with myself as to whether to make the medium or the large but I'm I think I'm going to go with the medium because I don't want them to be too wide. Um, it's 145 centimetres in width and it's nine pounds per metre and you wash it at 30 degrees and then just iron it on a low setting. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I do think it's probably going to be a little bit like a viscose where it's going to be a bit shifty, but I do have my trusty spray starch to hand to help me with that. But yeah, absolutely love that fabric. And also it doesn't crease, so that's nice. Um, so that's some fabric that I've had delivered from Felicity Fabrics. I've also got some fabric from Rainbow Fabrics that they gifted to me. And this is for their um, fabrics that have just literally dropped this weekend. So they sent me um, a selection of fabrics to choose from and I was allowed to choose two and I've got three meters of each fabric. Now, if you've been watching me for a little while, you will know that I always seem to go for floral fabrics. That is sort of my favored print. And um, so I decided this time not to go with um, a floral style of fabric and I have picked up some viscose fabric but this is a heavier weight so sewing this will be absolutely fine and it's got a lovely handle on it and I've chosen this lovely navy blue background with these gorgeous coloured stars all over it and the reason I went for this because obviously it's not floral it doesn't need to be pattern matched um, because the stars are just sporadically sort of placed on there and I just really liked that sort of colourway you know I really do like that on me so 
I don't have any plans for this at the moment, um, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to make a dress with it. I think I might either make another jumpsuit, maybe a different pattern, we'll see, or I'll have a look um, at all my patterns and see what I've got that may be suitable for this fabric. But yeah, it's, it's a really nice weight of viscose. So if I just open it out a little bit more, it's still got, you know, the drape there, um, but it's just not as flimsy as some of your viscoses. And yeah, it's, you know, really nice woven, coloured into it as, as such, you know. So yeah, really, really like that. And I love the colours in those stars, really nice. And then the other fabric that I chose is really very, very bold, very bold indeed. Now I took inspiration because I've always loved the dress that one of the girls wears in um, We're All Going On A Summer Holiday, uh, Summer Holiday film by Cliff Richard. And, um, I really like the dress that was in that. And if I can find a picture, I'll insert it here of what the dress looks like. So these stripes in this fabric are a lot wider, but that's the kind of inspiration I've gone for. And this is very bold. Look at this. It's very much um, sort of the colours of the, you know, of pride. Um, and I just absolutely love that. I just think it's really, really fun and just very bright and happy. So this is a stoff and steel fabric as well, which I've never had any fabric from stoff and steel before. It's a cotton, but it's very, very um, soft. You know, it's not stiff at all. So I think this is gonna be perfect for a summer dress. So this is gonna be turned into a dress. And I think something like the sew over it Betty dress would work really well because I'd like to have quite a full skirt. Um, or if that doesn't work, then I'll find a similar pattern where I can have a fitted bodice and quite a nice sort of A-line uh, big skirt yeah I just think that would be really really nice and I love those colors you know really nice and bold I did expect the um, stripes to be slightly narrower but that's fine I'll work with that that's absolutely fine yeah really really like that so there are some absolutely gorgeous fabrics that have come up for sale on Rainbow Fabrics website this weekend so please do go and check them out yeah you won't be disappointed with the fabrics um, that you will see that they have just recently got in oh, the, it was really hard to choose i was so torn with going with the florals and some of the the prints that they had but i decided to go with these two because they're just slightly different to what i would usually choose and it's nice to just go a bit off piste isn't it sometimes to what you would usually choose um, yeah, so that is basically where I'm at, I think, with my sewing and my fabrics that I've recently had delivered. So I am sort of working away in the backgrounds and getting a few things done. And I've got the, the patterns cut out ready to do the um, saguaro set. And I've also had another skirt pattern that I've recently bought. Um, and I've recently won a dress pattern as well. So I'm going to be putting a lot of these patterns to use. So anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed today's video. Please do give this video a like if you have done so. And please do consider subscribing if you've not already done so. That would be lovely. Thank you very much for joining me. And I shall see you again soon. Take care. Bye.